Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. I'm responding to some emails that I've been getting about the hacks that people have been putting on YouTube, um, small household things that could make your, your, uh, your life just a little bit easier. Um, there's 25 hacks that do this, 25 hacks that do that, 10 hacks that do this, 10 hacks that do that, that kind of thing. And they're, they're small things. And what I'm doing is, is I'm picking and choosing a few of them. I'm testing them out to see if they actually work. I mean, they look, they look fine, kind of easy on, on the internet while you watch them and you look at them and say, oh, that's kind of cool. I, maybe I'll try that. Well, we're trying it and we're going to see what happens. Today, what we're going to do is where I saw where they had taken two extension cords, put it inside of a small, like, uh, small container so they can put the lid back on it, put it outside during inclement weather so the two extension cords when they're put together, that area doesn't get wet. So what I had started to do is I tried starting cutting this container here and I have a similar container that they were using as well the kind that snaps on, closes, snaps on just like that and this makes it watertight. This green rim around the outside here is like a little gasket so I'm using a similar item that they had so you can see that that green area there is like a little rubber gasket that goes on to keep it watertight. So what I tried to do at first is I, I cut off one of the corners started using my my razor knife and I tell you that wasn't easy to do so I actually finished it up with my small hacksaw blade that I've got so I cut down both sides folded it over and then cut it with my knife my razor knife and that was a little bit easier to get that off so the plug that I want to try this with is my power washer cord Okay, now power washer, you're going to get that wet all the time and the end of an extension cord. So when this goes in, it's actually at a, an, an, an L formation. So what I want this to do is I want this to fit inside of here. So I'm not going to cut the adjacent, the, the corner straight across or the kitty corner across. I'm going to hit the one that's right next to it. So I got this corner cut. So I'm going to cut this corner now. Now, does it matter which corner? No, it really doesn't. Um, either way, the cords go in and the cords are pliable, so you can bend it to any, any corner that you want to. But I'm going to show you uh, how to do this one here. So let's bend this down just a little bit like this. All right, so what I ended up doing was um, I know how wide a cord is, and this is about three quarters of an inch. So I just took the corner right off. So I just started. <laughs> down like this and I took it down to the first first rim there's a little bit of a rim that goes all the way around it's kind of like a fill mark and I took it down to there and then I went over about three quarters of an inch to grab the other corner okay that one was easier to do and what I did before I started bending this left and right is I took my razor knife and I'm at that you can see this white rim right around the side here right where the tip of my knife is and I'm gonna cut I'm just gonna score it so I'm not gonna try and cut through I just wanna score the plastic a couple of times just to give it like to perforate it 
So I'm going to bend it in right where that was and it snapped right off. All right, so now I've got my container. Two corners are off. And will my extension cord fit in there to go ahead and stay watertight? It fits in there nice. I'm going to try and fit this on top. Because I altered the corners, we might have to bend it in to see if it still works. I have to push this in just a little bit on this side. And look at that. That works out pretty good. Now the water's going to hit it on top here, but what about these areas here? This is the part that they don't really explain to you. Water can still get inside of here. So my suggestion to you on this is wherever there's an opening like this, and if, you, and if you don't want this container to fill up with water because of this and this, you uh, might want to put some, some duct tape over it. Wrap it around here, wrap it around here, and that'll make it much, much more watertight. And then you can be a little bit more successful. Now, will this work with, instead of my, instead of my um, power washing cord, Will it work with a, a different extension cord that kind of just goes straight in? Well, let's find out. So what I have is this cord. I'm going to put this with this, just like that. And yes, look at that. It will fit right inside of there. And yes, yes, it works. Now, again, it's movable in there, and these are still holes in here, so you can still get you can still get some some water or some rain in there. So you're going to be careful with that. And my suggestion is still put some duct tape around there because if you're going to if you're going to do this, this container is going to stay outside for a while, probably through the entire rainy season. You got Christmas lights. It could stay outside all winter long. So you want some, some sort of protection across here too. Is this a good idea? Yeah, yeah, it ends up being a really good idea. Um, the container that I got here, this little container with this, these little four flap uh, lock connectors on them, um, I got this at Menards but I also saw it over at the uh, Dollar General and they're about three bucks, three bucks. And it's, it's pretty heavy. It's not, it's not bad. This is something that I would, I use in the house because uh, it's, it's got some durability to it. It's, I, I like this. Um, but I would say, yes, yes, that would be a, a, a good little, a good little hack. It's nice. That one impresses me. Not much impresses me at all. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next video. And uh, if you would please subscribe. There's some sort of a button down here somewhere. If you would please. If you'd subscribe, that'd be great. And uh, be safe out there.